In this video, I will review how to perform a Z test for two samples using a TI 84 plus calculator. We begin with the example. It states the following A dietitian claims that participants in an exercise program yield less weight reduction on average than the diet program. The mean weight reduction for 100 participants in the exercise program is 19.7 pounds, and the population standard deviation is 6.2 pounds. Similarly, for the diet program, for 100 participants, it is 21.2 pounds, and the standard deviation is 7.6 pounds. At alpha equal to 0 0.01, can you support the dietitian's claim? First step is we write down the key information. So for the exercise program, the sample mean, which is labeled X bar sub 1, is 19.7. Sigma 1, the population standard deviation is 6.2. N1, the sample size is 100. For the diet program, X bar sub 2 is 21.2. Sigma 2, population standard deviation, 7.6. And sub 2 is 120. So for this type of problem, we are comparing two means. And what it's saying is that the average weight loss for the exercise program is less than the average weight loss for the diet program. So when we represent this, we write the following, mu sub one is less than mu sub two. That's the claim. Since it's less than, it's an H sub one statement. H naught is that the two means are equal. We know it's a Z test because we are given the two sigmas, population, standard deviations. We draw the normal distribution. Since it's less than, we have a left tail test. We look up the critical value in table F. It's a one tail test, 0 0.01, 2.33, 1 tail is the value. Since it's on the left side, it's negative 2.33. Next, we will use the calculator to compute the test value. To use the calculator, we do the following. We press STAT, select test, select number three, Two sample Z test. Select the stats option. Type in the first standard deviation, 6.2. Type in the second standard deviation, 7.6. Type in the first sample mean, 19.7. Type in the first sample size, 100. Type in the second sample mean, 21.2. Type in the second sample size, 120. And then select the less than option. Select calculate. And we have computed the test point. It's negative 1.61. We compare the test point to the critical value. The test point, negative 1.61, falls to the right of the critical value, which means it's in the non-critical region. Thus, when we summarize our results, we state the following. Do not reject H0. There is not enough evidence to support the claim. Thanks for watching the video.